Korean World Edu Universe IELTS Present Speaking Podcast on Speaking Part 1. I know you all are in urge to score excellent band score in speaking test. We are here to help you to achieve that goal. So without further ado, let's start our speaking podcast. Do you use maps? Well, I tend to have a good sense of direction, so I prefer to use them only when there is no other option. I'd rather get directions from someone using landmarks, as I have a photographic memory. However, when I find myself completely lost, especially in a foreign place, I will resort to tourist maps or Google Maps. How often do you use them? I would say a few times a week. Since I don't usually go outside of my daily routine, I have no reason to use a map. When I get on my bicycle every day, I know every niche of my city. If I find myself lost, you can always rely on a stranger to help in my small town. What kind of maps do you use? Why is that? For some reason, paper maps just don't seem to click in my mind. Because of this, I prefer Google Maps since they give me verbal instructions. I find this a lot easier to follow, as well as much safer, especially when I'm driving. Furthermore, the estimated time and walking, biking, or driving option is super helpful. How long have you been using them? I've been using online maps for the past few years, and well, paper maps for my entire life. I followed my first paper map while driving when I was 16. I got so lost and ended up calling my father in tears. Since online maps and GPSs, it has become much easier to get around. Did you use paper maps before? Oh, I can remember those days. The glove box in my car was full of maps and my father used to draw them for me when I was new to the road. Furthermore, even nowadays when I travel, I often stop by the tourist information desk and get a free map. Have you ever asked somebody or a passerby for directions? I believe that people will help you in most cases, so I certainly have. I know some people feel shy or maybe too proud to ask for help, but I'm not one of these. Although I've been rejected a few times, more times than not, people have gone out of their way to give me detailed directions with landmarks included to my destination. What type of maps do people use most nowadays? Why? Google Maps or other online maps or GPSs have completely taken over. Nowadays, you don't even need to know where you're going. Since we have these modern day conveniences, less and less people are going through the hassle of reading a paper map. Furthermore, since GPS and online maps are so popular, perhaps people are losing the skill to read and follow a map. That is the end of our speaking podcast. To get more materials, please contact us and join our elementary class.